Hi and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today's video is going to be a review for the Sour Melon Drop 3 Wick Candle from Bath and Body Works. Before I get into it, I wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers. And if you haven't already, think about subscribing. The subscribe button is right below me. And you can also get notifications, so hit the little notification bell so you know when I upload another video. So, to start with, the notes on this one are juicy candied watermelon, sour green apple, and bursting honeydew melon. This one did particularly well actually in the living room. You could smell this all over the entire house. And to me, I'm picking up about 99% honeydews, so it's nothing near cucumber melon. Cucumber melon has a very, very fresh note, and this is very candied in my interpretation of it i guess i'd say the candle itself the first burn was like absolutely perfect i trimmed my wicks right before i lit it and it was all over my household the second burn was here in the office and it was still the throw was amazing it was huge for this one for me it was all over my house even when i had my door shut in my office you could smell it all over the place I did notice um, I started immediately getting mushrooming and a little bit of soot. You could see the soot in there. Uh, this isn't going to deter me from buying a backup of this one because it smells so good. I don't feel like I was smelling any soot, so I will be sure to cut my wicks before my next burn of this one. Well, I would have to say this is definitely like more like if Jolly Rancher had a honeydew flavored flavor, you know, flavored candy, I guess. If Jolly Rancher had a honeydew flavored candy, I've heard that it it's like a one of the Asian honeydew candies and it's kind of like a mamba candy. I don't eat mamba, so I don't know. I haven't had Jolly Rancher in a long time, but the way it's just, it doesn't have a fizz, but it has a sharp sourness to it, which isn't bad. It definitely makes me think of like Jolly Ranchers. So this was a, uh, one of my favorites so far out of the new collections and I'm definitely getting a backup for this one. If you don't like melon and you don't like fruity stuff and you don't like candy like stuff, I don't know if this would really be a recommended type of candle. I think it burns down nice, so far at least. And what I'm gonna do is when I am done with that candle, you will eventually see it in one of my home fragrance empties. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it this month next month or six months down the line. We're gonna have to kind of wait and see on that. But keep watching my empties so you will know a final post burn review on these. But until tomorrow, I will talk to you later. Bye.